Welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to scratch build forward rib gussets. So the next step in the project is to start building out my wings. I'm going to start off with one of these forward ribs and we need to attach some gussets to it to, as doublers. Here's an example. Uh, there's a gusset here that doubles the strength right on this edge and then another one up here. They come in a little bag like this. Um, I haven't done anything with this one yet. Um, there, it comes with eight of these as well as eight of the opposite ones. So these are the ones that go up here on the top. Um, and then I have eight more that went down here on the bottom. In order to prepare these parts, I need to um, bend um, a portion of this up along this line and Sonic says that for the um, the 06 We're supposed to bend it at 15 30 seconds, but that's incorrect or at least it was on the parts that I have um, And on the 07 I'm supposed to bend it at 7 16 which was also wrong um, You can see I've written in my notes here Don't pay any attention to those either because they're not right either um, just to show you an example um, Say I grab these 07s here and the first one I put into place here if I line up the holes um, you'll see that it kind of it's already up against the side here but the holes don't quite line up Hopefully I can get that into focus right um, so here's another one that should line up if I line up the holes you will see there's a little bit of a gap right here so that was one was wrong as well and this is actually the first one that I tried and uh, it's definitely off uh, by quite a bit. Um, so what I'm gonna do today is demonstrate um, what I actually ended up doing to get all of these bent properly. Here's a bunch that are um, bent into the right spots. If I grab this gusset here, for example, and I line up everything, um, it is lined up and it lines up properly with this. This uh, angle here is maybe a little bit more than 90 degrees. That's the only reason why it's not quite touching there, but it does sink down nice and flat there. One thing I will mention though, I've already burned several of these um, gussets of these blanks, and I ended up having to scratch build several of them on my own. Um, so I'm gonna go through how I built that as well. All right, so step one, I put the gusset on top of a blank piece of uh, aluminum here that was from another part that uh, I'd, I'd cut off. So I've just placed it here, I've clamped it down on the table, um, and then I've traced around it with these black lines. And then the next thing I'm going to do while it's still clamped to the table is I'm going to drill holes into all of these uh, pre-drilled holes using a number 40 drill bit. Um, and, and with each one of these I'll put in a Clico, not all of them, but a couple of them to hold it in place so it doesn't move around um, so that those holes will match up to uh, my rib over here. Um, and then um, I'm going to go and cut around and make sure that I cut off all of the black. So one other thing you want to pay attention to is if you look at the metal here, you'll see a grain kind of going this direction right here. Um, and one thing you need to make sure that you do is when you're lining up these parts to, to bend, you got to make sure that the grain is in the right direction. But you don't want to bend it right along where the grain is because it'll actually have a weaker spot there. Um, th these grains are, are sort of rippled uh, this direction as, as it goes kind of this direction here. And if you bend it right there, um, you're actually possibly going to create stress, stress cracks. But if you fold it against the grain, um, or in this case, along this fold, it's not directly with the grain, it's, it's sort of uh, uh, diagonal to it, um, that's actually okay. When you're lining up your part um, to trace, make sure that you have the grains go in the same direction as the blank that you get from the kit um, versus the part that you're, uh, you're building here next. Um, so you can see here I have traced directly over the top. Um, I've clamped it down to my table um, with my uh, vice grip C-clamps here. Um, and I put a little felt pad on the bottom of this so it doesn't damage the metal underneath. It's got a little felt pad that you would use to put on the furniture legs like under a kitchen table or kitchen chairs or something like that so you don't scratch your floor. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start drilling these holes. Um, and these holes, um, I will put a Clico in a couple of these to hold it in place um, while I continue drilling so that I don't uh, move parts around. Piece of metal um, drilled out. 
So these two parts are pretty much identical. I just need to trim off all of the black uh, ink that's on this uh, new blank here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and uh, come right back. Some of these inside corners are a little hard to get to, so what I do is I just trim it as close as I can and then just sort of uh, break off the parts here. And then I just go in with a file and clean that up a little bit. I like to use a nice uh, round file for this. Notice that I didn't quite cut to the black line uh, on the edge here, um, so they have a little bit of room to file without uh, damaging the part. And then same thing along on this little uh, inside cut here. Just compare our uh, original with our new blank here line up just right, the edges uh, line up just right, um, so it turned out, I think, pretty well. All right, so like I was saying before, uh, one of the hardest things to do is to get those measurements right on where to put the bends on those gussets, um, and what I found to work really well is this technique that I'm going to demonstrate now. If at all possible, I like to avoid actually measuring uh, with a measuring tape or with a ruler or whatever because that always tends to be uh, imperfect. Um, and so what I've found works really well uh, is to grab a couple of uh, Clicos and uh, take your gusset that you're gonna bend here. Um, so this is a 06 that's gonna go up here on the top of this. And what I'll do is instead of putting it on the side that it's gonna eventually go on, I'm gonna put it on the bottom side of this uh, with a couple of Clicos. I've been using three uh, on this particular part. Two right near the uh, part where I'm gonna bend, and then a third one just to keep it from moving around too much. And then I take a fine tipped uh, Sharpie permanent marker, and I get it down inside of this hole between this bend on the rib and this gusset here. I just kinda get it down there as far as I possibly can. Try to get this down inside of there as far as I possibly can which will be slightly inside of this bend here. Maybe you can see that line that I've drawn down inside of there. So a fine tip marker is really important to get that in there as far as you can. All right, so the line's gonna look like this. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is take it over to my sheet metal brake and I'm gonna line it up just a little bit beyond uh, where my bend's gonna be. I'm gonna put it just a little bit beyond this mark and it ends up making it just the perfect size uh, to fit inside of this bend uh, inside of here. So let's go do that real quick. I'm just gonna line it up just so it's on the bend side of this line. Um, not on the line itself, but just bumped out this way slightly. Here. I'm going to put my bar here back a little bit from that line, um, just enough to uh, accommodate the width of the material here. So, and then just go ahead and bend this up to 90 degrees. You can see that it's just slightly uh, this side. Um, of the line that we drew a second ago. Go ahead and put our Clicos back into place here. You can see that it actually, if you look at the uh, bend line here, it actually sits right inside of there. Now it's probably, I probably bent it a little bit more than 90 degrees. Um, so as I um, put this into place on the, uh, the wing spar and uh, rivet it into place, that'll actually all pull together uh, very nicely here and leave no gap. All right, and then one last thing uh, to complete this gusset. Uh, we need to create a bend uh, along this uh, line here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the measurement that Sonics gives for this. Um, there's nothing that it needs to line up with and fit into. Uh, so this 532nd inch bend will be just fine. Um, take note though that the 06, um, 07 has a slightly different size. It's 3 16 for that one and 5 30 seconds uh, for this line. So slightly different depending on which one of these uh, gussets you're working on. All right, so I've got my adjustable square here set to 5 30 seconds of an inch. 
and uh, I'm just gonna draw a line there to uh, make another bend. So we're going to try and we need to move this bar slightly that direction so that it's not going to interfere with uh, this bend that we've already produced here. So as I lift this up, uh, it won't hit. There we go. All right, and that is what it will look like uh, when we rivet it all together. We've got uh, the holes drilled through it. Um, we have all of our angles here bent in the right spots. Everything seems to fit together quite well. All right, there we go. We have built uh, a scratch-built gusset uh, for the for the forward wing rib uh, for our, our wings on the Sonics. It's always a good idea to keep an extra one of these on hand so you can easily trace a new one and uh, you know build a new one from scratch in case you need it because yeah, who knows, you might just bend it in the wrong spot like I did about 10 times. Um, so we needed uh, eight of these total, um, of the 06 and eight of the 07s. Um, I now have enough to, to complete the rest of my wing ribs here. All right, and uh, here we have a finished part with the gussets um, riveted into place. Uh, turned out pretty well. That's it for this video. I tried to make it a short, sweet one for you. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.